Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, Day 11. Filming this later than usual, so we don't have the uh, best light right now. Uh, that's all right. We've got what we've got. So looking at yesterday's ink to start off with, Peruge, we have um, Octopus Fluids, Sepia Schwartz. Did I say that right? Well, who knows? And I had that in my vintage wall. Possibly Doric. Okay. A little bit of a crack there. Still have pink ink under my nails. I have washed my hands many times. So, Pride and Prejudice sticks with you. Um, but, old news. Boop. Let's move on to new news. Turn the page. Pick an ink. You know, the problem with if I don't cut them is I'll never pick the first and the last one, you know. Okay, let's look away. And this is the one. It cut here. And we have Wistful, Wistful Watermelon. I feel like I actually used this before, but it's not marked thusly. Or thus. I think the lead might be extraneous if you have thus. Because this is already an adverb. If you have thoughts or opinions on that, feel free to comment. Um, I got to read a bunch of comments on Pride and Prejudice. Um... That was fun. Uh, I really appreciate that, like, we didn't all have the same opinion on it. You know what I mean? Because, like, I actually sometimes feel like it's when you're asked to articulate why you like something or when you hear about someone's experience who doesn't like something that you like that it, it helps you articulate why you do like it. I don't know if that makes sense. See, this this is like low. It looks like I did stuff with it. But that's fine. It doesn't matter. So let's find a pen. Do I have pens? I have uh, scissors and tape and swimsuit patterns. Excited. I'll make some swimsuits. Oh, you know what's perfect? Look at that. That's pretty much perfect. I don't know, though, that the writing experience would be perfect because... <sighs> Light ink wants a thinner pen. What else do we have? Ooh! Yeah, I found the right color. I mean, it's not like this is the right color either, but this is a better one. Yeah. That's the winner. I, it was like on the scene. You know, it was the first thing and sometimes that happens. It speaks to you. Listen to your heart. Man, I was at my parents over the weekend and my dad watches a lot of videos on YouTube and, and so he put on uh, music. And it was just like, I was like, what playlist is this? Like, bangers only? Because it was like the best music from like the 70s through the 90s. With the random like the song from the 2000s thrown in. Um, it was great. So much hair metal. I was there for it. Um, really? Oh, live rendition of Black by Pearl Jam. Mm-hmm. I don't need more than that, right? I don't need more than that. No. It'd be nice to, like, try and, like, get some in here, though. Ready? We're gonna, we're gonna be doing something real sketchy. Go a little bit in the feed. Yeah. Oh, 
strip. And for the record, I have the song Brick House in my head right now, and I don't even think that was one of the ones we heard together. We also watched a movie that made me cry. Okay, that's not true. We watched two movies that made me cry. That is pretty much standard for when I visit them. They're always watching things that I find deeply disturbing. But in their defense, I'm a wimp. <laughs> it's me, not them. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be deeply disturbed by what was called the WWF. Uh, so just, you know, like all those guys hitting each other. It seemed so mean. Let us zoom in. I didn't like them hurting each other. My mom was like, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. I'm like, I knew nothing, mom. Like she thought I knew it was all a us, but it's like, no, no. I I tend to, like, believe things like that. Like, it was portrayed as real, so I thought it was real. Show of hands if you were also traumatized by wrestling. I don't expect to see any hands up. Um, Let's write. Well, let's see if it'll write. Did I even say this is okay? This is, uh, I think this is a Colt Pins exclusive. This is Diamine Wistful Watermelon. And the pen is a Franklin Kristoff uh, Model 45. With a broad sig nib. This was the ink flight. This was the reason I signed up because I heard that they did like a guess the ink for April. Um, ink flight. So my, the first one I got was actually March of 2022. But I signed up f for April for the purpose of getting April. So I'm excited. My ink flight is in the mail and I may get it very soon. We'll see. Let me come over here. Thirty inks. Thirty days. Uh, April twenty twenty three. Day eleven. Ink. I'm wistful watermelon. Let's try to do more cursive. -y. What were you writing there? Who knows? It doesn't like doing left strokes, but I'll be honest, most pins don't. No love for us lefties. That's splat. Where's my splat paper? 
Oh, wait. Do I have brick house in my head? No. I'm a super freak. Super freak. Hey, look. It's like we got a little row of them. I don't like that. Don't be in a row. You can go your own way. Better. Could call it another lonely day. Here we are. The, the lighting is really rubbish. If I describe this color, mm, does it look watermelon? Yeah, on this paper it does. On this paper, to me, it is like in this swatch, it's more tomato-y. The camera, to me, is making it look both more rich and more orange, but who knows if that's true because my phone is probably in nighttime mode where it turns everything yellow. Um, we'll see it better tomorrow, I hope. Uh, but for today, day 11, the beautiful Dye Mine Wistful Watermelon in my Franklin Christoph Model 45. Oh, this is the color Salmon Glow. And I wondered for a long time, like, because... You know, salmon is kind of an interesting color that's like kind of orangey. This to me reads as pink. However, it's a really warm pink, especially with stuff behind it. So I don't know if you can see the difference between the way the color looks there and there. So here it's more orangey, here it's more pink. At any rate, I like it as a non-orange lover. Um, what was I saying? Well, I was probably saying have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow for day 12. Take care. Bye.